Panty tums, panty pies. You simply won't get Tanya. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you... Come on down to Watchers Bake Hall, where we have an ample variety. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Family. Romance. Dick. Visit Bansworth. It's great good. So that's Bansworth. Strange place, I know, but... They need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another top up of the letter. Good grief, lad. The front door's right there. We're ten stories up for crying out loud. Just the man I need. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. I love you. 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 down for Megan Quest Pasty, but Meg's in Torpen. Thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. 
But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication, that I might slip free. Hmm? I'm sorry, sir. We're closed this morning. Because this dolt has lost my keys. Alright, give it a turn. Mm -hmm. ah. Ooh. Uh, now then, Larry. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint then? It's like a normal pint. But I take both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Well, you down there, lad. Give those bottles a shake-up, won't you? Hey, looking good up here. Ah, nothing like a nice white pint to start the day. Every morning I wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee. Then I get out of bed and I go to... Ah, Larry, we were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all on the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. One small is bigger! <laughs> Thanks for catching that, Ronnie lad. I don't be a passenger. We've now come yet. Help yourself to out front back, though. Going! What on earth are you doing with that mop, boy? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. My mum's got me back on the Mercury again. Give me strength. Oh, you found me. I'm a bridge stoked. And I'm awfully rigid. Ah, uh, no, I just... I'm actually the town bow, if you catch my meaning. Jasper? Oh dear. Oh, it's no use, Marge. 
I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Whoa! Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. I'm looking for teats. Or finches. I'm not for sale. Ah, thank goodness you are here. If you're looking for something to do, Two for one, two for two, one for all, buckle my shoe. Oh, I don't know. I better call mother. Shagging. Hello there. I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a moo. Then a toad in the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Come Little on, get into it. Is any crusted old? Yeah, well, do. Need to dampen that. Hello, I'm a worm. One thing you ought to know about worms: we love rain. One time, I went up for my rain, but it wasn't rain. It was a bird playing a cruel trick. You're not a bird, are you? I should hope not. I'm a worm. off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? 
I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. <laughs> How embarrassing. Cracking work, lad. The stoves never look better. Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's he done? No pies. No pies? I know, that's what I said, I know. On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Oh, ah, of course you do. Why don't you ask out Beverly to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do that jar of mustard that needs using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. But you're not invited. I can't believe that big man knows pie. No more dinner guests. Should hang his head. Not after last time. Oh. Hey. Doug's the name, rugs are the game. Johnny's the wife, died in Corfu, 1992. Don't ask me how. Oof. Can I help? Oh, I. Very handsome, my dog. Such a good boy. Who knows what to do then? Lad! Oh, for goodness, you're here! I want you better that. get this man in here, now! I'm desperate. What's he doing in there? Come on, come on, come on! The absolute state of this. Oh, I'm I've been a big fan all my life, here. but I'll be telling the wife to buy comes from now on. Oh, you've come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first pie of the day, and then I realised we've no meat. I can't make a pie without meat. It's the second most important ingredient. Oh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. No breakfast, and now no lunch. Oily babs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. Big pies and tiny pies. All I need is my burgers. Oh, my big bird. Oh, Billy, I knew you'd do this. Cracky, look at the size of this lad's marrow. Looks like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. Yeah, right. One for the tomato. Ooh, more for me. Dirty love, Herbert. Dirty love. Hey, base. There's some really good looking fish in here. That one's got a nice sense of taste.
Oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. My great job. It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All right. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, yeah. I'll have a chicken bake, please, love. All right, well, with no butter today, Colin's gone and lost it, so it's vegan. I hope that's all. The bits you found this spanner. Shame about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. I crack and work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Rubbish in my bin. I won't. Monkey pup. I don't know. Ooh. Uh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. They're everywhere. Somebody must have laid them down from the roof. I've been on my best behavior. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Jasper, why on earth would I do that? I can't even turn my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, a likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, kiddo. You have to never look back here. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Ah! Oh. Oh, hello, love. Can't believe that Kerry girl pinching. 
Her and her sister were so lovely when I used to babysit them. Very far from those pickle sisters. Oh! Aye, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone, walkies. He must have been pinched by that no-good yob, Frank. He's probably doing at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Me in your bin. Oh. Oh. Quick in head, black in lung, smoking's best when you start it young. I used to go to bishes, but my doctor says that Brian will give me go. Again, ready for another bit of fiddlesticks, are you? Watch your knees. <laughs> ah, hello again. I'm a chartered surveyor and I'm in trouble. Hold him still, Turpentine. My father's the county ombudsman. Apparently, he's going to Sam's for his rum. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, ah, they are luscious. No disagreement there. But another man's meat in your pie. Where are we? Sheffield. Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this, then. Scarcely three years old, my father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. I was nearly dead, I'm gonna be ambushed before my sister's found. Do you know how glue is made? I know. I found out when I was only seven years old, after my mum went lame. Father took it at knackers that very same evening. Me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run through the litter, jolted as I made the cut. Completed and
Aye, I'll tell thee now. Now I suppose all we need to do is... What? I've forgotten the most important ingredient! Thymix. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... Oh. One. Two. Another two. Six. Hello. This is Pasty Pete's Premium Pasty Pastry Pete. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mix boxes post haste! Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin! Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blurring. What the sure? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were. I <laughs> It doesn't matter now, Florence. Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. Send down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet! Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you'd get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been finding my way. Now, look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit bigger? Herbert's gonna have a right job on getting fertilizer with Rog in this state. Get your head down, lad! He's gone bonkers! Rog, relax yourself! You're making a mess of the place! Get out! What the devil's gone into you, man? I never even mentioned your massive head! It isn't massive! Right out, lad! I'm sorry, Mr. Peeling. We did everything we could. <laughs> What's in our head? Violet sound bloom. Roger's got a big head and he's a massive bellend. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Peelings. That pool isn't going to pay itself. Sorry, mister. It's company policy. Peas, not my peas. Not my peas. Not something special. Never mind then, love. <laughs> I like it. I can't keep pretending anymore, Roger. It's just too big. Ooh. It's just 
Too big. Too big. That won't fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. He's He's just too big. 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 Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. <laughs> That's over. I can't stand the force. In hey my plea, I summon my six gulls back to me. Uh. That didn't work. Go find them. <laughs> <laughs> 